It's the Stitches, and today I'm going to be trying on my entire wardrobe. Yes, all of it. Oh, the whole thing. <laughs> so the obvious question would be, you know, why? Even though I went fast fashion free last year and started buying a lot more minimally, I still feel like I've accumulated a lot of stuff anyway. <laughs> And I've also noticed that my style has shifted a little bit. I also feel like I want to alter quite a few things in my wardrobe. I feel like every time I put together a cute outfit, I try it on and then I'm like, oh, well this shirt would be better if it was just, you know, a little bit different. So I feel like I have quite a few garments that I need to set aside to upcycle in some way, but I won't know which ones those are until I just go through and try everything on. Why did I want to do this video again? All right, so our first, our first top, it's this handmade piece. The thing I would like to fix though is the neckline. It like, no matter what I do, like, it's just, it just doesn't work. Another crop top. This one is American Apparel. I wish this was like an actual like mohair or angora just because it does trap in the like armpit moisture. I, I wear this with a lot of stuff because it's just really basic. There's not really anything that it clashes with. This is another handmade piece. It's a little slightly more tragic, especially in like the sleeve area. I don't like this, so I'm gonna do something about the sleeves on this piece. I don't know. I'm gonna put this on my dress form and play with it a little bit because I'm not really satisfied with how it is right now. We have this tank top, which is kind of very tragic in every way. I think this I'm just gonna turn into some face wipes or something. I don't, I guess I can try to sell it. Maybe somebody who's like bustier would fit it better. Oh look, it's a handmade crop top I am pleased with. This is literally the same pattern. The only difference is that it has sleeves. And I guess when it has sleeves, it fits me fine. But when I chop the sleeves off, it's like, no, it stays. This is the same deal as the last one. It's literally even the same pattern. But this is another top that I really like. It goes with all of my red pants, my red bottom items. This crop top is by Penelope Gazin. She does uh, her fashion stuff under a separate website brand thing called Fashion Brain Company now. And you can pry it from my cold dead hands. I want to own this until the day I die and nobody can convince me otherwise. <laughs> I did a whole video on this but I don't remember if that video was any good. There is a little bit of weirdness in the shoulders. The shoulders don't quite fit me the way that they should, but it's not like obnoxious about it. It's manageable. It's a manageable weirdness. Here's another handmade top that I regularly forget that I own. This is way cuter than I remember it being. Why don't I wear this all the time? Yeah, the right white zipper on this uh, pink fabric is not the most discreet, but it's far from the most obnoxious zipper construction in my wardrobe, so we should be okay. This little bandeau top is one of my favorite things that I've ever made for myself. It's not perfect by any means, but I still really love it. Incredibly low cost, but has had a really big payoff in especially like my summer outfits. This is another super simple basic piece that I wish was made out of a natural fiber. I just thrifted this. It was like literally a dollar. I don't really know what else to say other than I'm keeping it obviously because it just goes with everything. 
another mock neck top and this one is a thrifted one that I cropped myself. This one might be in my video where I like did a tutorial on how to do an actual hem on a cropped knit garment because it's literally one of my pet peeves when like a Depop girl takes a really nice vintage sweater and then crops it to like this length or shorter and then leaves a raw hem. <laughs> It's one of my pet peeves. I don't like it. This is staying. I think we finally made it to the first piece that I intend to actually sell. Uh, this is my Lazy Oaf Bad For You t-shirt. I've worn it in a lot of looks, but I'm not happy with any of those looks. And I feel like any of those looks could have been made better by including a different shirt, not this shirt. This is a really nice crop top. It's a little snug because it's an extra small. That was the only size that I had left when I was ordering it. Because this is the only Lazy Oaf piece that I ever bought new. But I really love this piece. It still goes with a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna hold on to this. This is a lingerie top that I got at, again, Goodwill such a shock. I'm glad that I got this piece just because it has such a nice silhouette. It's really flattering and it looks good with literally anything else that I pair it with. I will say that my cat chewed a hole into it at one point. There are a few mending spots on this but you can't really see it on camera so it's it's fine. Another tank top. This one, I think I'm gonna sell this. This is a true 80s vintage. It's flattering. I like it. It's cool. It's a nice cotton fabric, but I feel like I already have so much red in my wardrobe and I don't wear red that often. Same story with this. It's all right, but it just doesn't go with anything else that I own well enough that I feel like I should hold on to it. I know when summer comes, I'm gonna be a real mad at myself for getting rid of so many tank tops, but uh, that's a problem for future Catherine. I don't want to wear these next summer. This is one of my favorite tops. I wear it in sit down videos a lot just because it's really cute just on its own. It doesn't really need to be dressed up, but it's also so simple that it's not like assaulting to your eyes to look at it. It's it's a perfect sit-down video top. This is another one of my absolute favorite tops. I get compliments on it literally every time I wear it. If it's in like a thumbnail, like I usually get more views on that video. But they're little bears wearing little bows holding little flowers and I got it for free. This is an angelic pretty cut sew. It was actually one of the first things that I unboxed on my channel, but uh, my first few videos, in fact, my first like 20 videos were absolute garbage. So blouse number one. This is nice. It has a really cute floral design on it. This is a bed coat that I got off of Depop for a few bucks and I turned it into a blouse with some little round buttons. Another patterned blouse is this vintage 70s gingham number. I love it. I love tucking this into a little skirt and it is the perfect picnic blouse. It's also surprisingly comfortable for a pure synthetic garment. It should surprise nobody that I am keeping my Baby the Star Shine Bright blouse that I restored. If you don't know the story on this piece, I got it off of Depop for like $15 and then I restored it because it had significant sweat stain damage. The owner, the original owner was just basically essentially giving it away to somebody that had the skills to restore it and I was that person. All right, so now we're gonna go through my sweaters. First up is this Unif Frost sweater. I don't like Unif. I used to. I don't anymore. I like this sweater. It can stay. I think this was literally the first thing I ever bought off of Depop, which is an exciting thing to think about because of my long love affair that I've had with Depop for the past. Oh my god, Depop and I are about to have our third year anniversary. All right, this sweater I absolutely love and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Catherine, Velma vibes. And I'm thinking Jinkies, you're right. But um, I've never worn it. <sighs> I've never reached for it and I'm never gonna reach for it. I'm literally just holding on to it because of Velma vibes. And is that enough for me to keep it? 
This is another sweater that I love. It's probably the only sweater I own that properly fits me. Uh, I just really like the design. I really like the colors. It's also a good top for wearing when I do my like sit down videos. So this is another thing that I do reach for regularly in my closet and I will be keeping it. And you should be pretty familiar with this sweater. I thrifted this in Portland. It's got smiley faces on it. It's got flowers on it. It's got a weird Crayola-esque design on it. And I, I, I couldn't think of a more perfect sweater. This is probably my favorite thing that I ever got at WC. Again, you should probably be real familiar with this sweater because I wear it all the time and I will continue to wear it all the time. Oh, here's another thing that doesn't seem like it should be a garment staple, but it absolutely is. It's a wool blend, but it's literally one of the most comfortable sweaters that I own. I wear this a lot. It surprisingly goes with a lot of stuff that I own. I feel like at this point I'm not even decluttering. I'm just suffering. Here's another crop top. Uh, we've made it to t-shirts. This is my Chris Sparkles crop top. I, 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 you can read what it says. I'm not gonna say it for you because of the good old YouTube uh, sensor stuff. Yeah. Oh, look at that, boys. We have an item to declutter. I love the brand that I bought this from. This is from Creepy Gals. Love her stuff, all the stuff that she does. I've had this shirt a long time and I've worn it almost never. This is a WC t-shirt. I honestly, I don't think I've worn this in six months. Like it's starting to smell like an attic, you know, when something's been sitting in your drawer a little bit too long because you haven't worn it. So it starts to smell like an attic. That's going on with this. So that's probably a pretty good sign that it's time to let this one go. Here's a shirt that I hand painted. I've worn this to both years that I vended at the Olympia Zine Fest and I will probably wear it to the Olympia Zine Fest again this year if I get accepted. <laughs> Love Struck Prince shirt number one. It says artsy. I cropped it. I really like wearing this in the summer just because it's a cropped t-shirt and those are really nice in the summer. I am keeping this Love Struck Prince t-shirt number two. I just got this one so it's still its original shade of pink. Um, it's a cat in a box and it says very busy and that is just this is my 2020 energy right here. We have a WC Esther Kim t-shirt. This one actually has a surprise, which one is it? Ah, there it is. A surprise pink stain from a garment that I thrifted and didn't realize that it had never been washed before. And all of its bright pink dye got on. Luckily just this and like one other thing, luckily, but um, it completely ruined the other thing, unfortunately. A piece of clothing that I I picked up in Portland. This I could probably part with. It's the, the back that has the big design. I don't know if I want to sell it or if I want to upcycle it into something new because I do like this color. I don't know if I like the color on me though. Maybe when I'm editing this I will have a better chance to see how it looks on my skin and I will decide if I sell it or upcycle it. This is a t-shirt that I wear all the time around my house. It's by WC. It's got these big beautiful sleeves. I really love this. I don't know why, I just, I love living my flappy sleeve life. And this is when I realized that I would need a second day. We'll be right back. All right, so we're moving on to skirts and we're off to kind of a rough start cause uh, this one does not fit me anymore. So I'm gonna need to take it in. I do really like it though. Like I like the fluffiness, I like the length. I think I'm just gonna add a couple darts to the back just to kind of, you know, cinch it in. Next we have this blue skirt, which does fit me, but one of my little ribbons is kind of coming off. So I need to fix the closure. It still has, this one still works fine. So I can still close it, 
but this one's just barely, it's just barely, I feel like I could pull it off if I wanted to. Another J Fashion skirt. This is by the brand Milk. This is really nice in the summer because it's super breezy. Vintage tennis skirt number one. This one is another very short skirt. Um, it does not have built-in shorts, unfortunately, so I have to wear another pair of shorts underneath this whenever I wear it, but I don't mind. It's a really cute, you know, basic essential tennis skirt, and it's also in my signature color of pink, my signature shade. Vintage tennis skirt number two. This one's quite a bit longer. It's actually like a decent length. It's the length I wish the other one was. I'm kind of torn on this one because on the one hand, it's the perfect size, it's the perfect length, but I don't like the color. <laughs> so it will go on Depop. This is just a simple skirt that I thrift flipped. I really like it. It's got like good early 2000s vibes, but I'm sort of questioning whether or not I am an early 2000s aesthetic girl. It's, it's a maybe. It's a maybe. If this is still here the next time I declutter and I haven't like made it a staple by then, I'll probably get rid of it. Here is another orange skirt. I like this one a little bit more than the other one just because it's just a simple gingham. There's less going on, but, and this is a big but. So if you pull it out to the sides, it looks like it's supposed to, but then like there was some stretching along the bias and you can see on the hip there's like some distortion in the print right here. So like it's the actual, the bias of the garment has stretched. This was so loosely woven that it hasn't really been able to stand up to its own weight. And there's just no saving a garment like this, unfortunately. This has a layer of some hot pink tulle. It's like a, almost like a bridal mesh. And then just, a solid cotton sateen bed sheet that I found at the Goodwill. I made a belt to go with it, but wasn't able to find like a good class hardware piece. I think I've found some stuff on Etsy that I would like to replace this with. This is my favorite skirt. I've altered it twice. <laughs> I made it originally in 2017 and it has only gotten better since then. Although it does look like I need to mend a little spot by this buttonhole. So I will put it on my mend pile and then it will go back into my wardrobe. And this is my button A-line wrap skirt. I also really like this piece. I think it'll look good with some soft, flowy things in the summer. Here is my lazy oaf skirt. It's got pockets and it's gingham. So clearly that means I'm gonna keep it. Here's a piece that I can sell. I just don't wear metallics anymore. This is another handmade skirt. It's just like a really simple, it's sort of almost like an athletic like swimsuit but then it has that palette coating on top of it. This skirt desperately needs an iron, but it is my Pendleton wool skirt that I shortened. I just thought that the plaid was so precious and it's such a nice quality. It's a good wool. So I have held on to it and I will continue to hold on to it because there are a lot of really good like soft looks that I can do with this. And we have this pink homemade skirt. I made this a little bit ago, but I haven't really started to wear it until just recently. I've kind of like fallen in love with it in the past couple months. I am going to keep this. So that was all my skirts. Now we're gonna do my shorts. This is a pair of fake American apparel shorts. I don't know how I feel about these. I'm not in love with them, but I only have three pairs of shorts and it will be summer eventually. So I'll probably just continue to wear them until they've fallen apart and 
it probably honestly won't take them that long to do that. This is another pair of shorts. I actually made these. These are a thrift flip from forever ago. One of my first thrift flips. I don't know if I want to keep them though. They're just a really low rise and I find that I just don't really like those kinds of shorts anymore. I think I might sell these and these are another thrift flipped pair of shorts. I think I want to kind of like do something about this bow situation. Like I just want to sew them a little bit more structurally sound. I think I'll just take them off and then move them up and then stitch them so that this is like stable. Like I'll, I'll move it up and in and then sew along this whole section, sew them down so that they don't get floppy on me. <sighs> Here's a pair of handmade pants and I think it's pretty obvious why they aren't working out for me. <laughs> um, they've got the little suspenders, there's like a drawstring, but I don't think this fabric should have ever been made into pants and it probably was not a good thing that I brought this into the world. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the world. Apple green vintage Chapman slacks. They are deliciously high-waisted. I'm not wearing the best underwear for these pants. I don't know why I wore this pair to do this video, but uh, we're, we're too deep in now. Another pair of vintage Chapmans. This is literally the same pair of pants just in pink. Um, yeah, I love these. All right, my four pairs of jeans are what we've cracked into now. These are literally Forever 21. I've had them longer than I've had this YouTube channel. And at this point, I'm just seeing how long they'll go for. <laughs> Pink pants number two. This is surprisingly a really good color. It's not like your standard hot pink. It's more of a magenta hot pink, but it comes in handy a lot more often than you would think. Oh look, it's another pair of mid-rise brightly colored pants. I've had these also for a long, long, long time. Um, I've had the last ones for a long time. I feel like these jeans are some of the oldest things in my wardrobe just because I don't ever want to buy jeans again so I'm just coasting on these ones until they give out completely. Uh, these ones are real close. These used to have buttons on them and both of the buttons have ripped out. I should probably mend the hole where the button went away. I'll put these on the mend pile. And finally, my most recent jean purchase is this pair of cherry red actual denim jeans from uh, Ralph Lauren. I wish this wasn't on them, but eh, actually that looks like it would be really easy to take off. This is a corduroy dress that I started in college and finished on my YouTube channel. This little pin here is detachable. Just really love this. I am so glad that I found this half finished project in my stuff. And now it's like a perfect Atome style staple. This is a dress from Redbubble with my art on it. I am not in love with the style of dress. I don't really enjoy wearing it, but I don't want to get rid of it because it's like my art. So I think I'm just going to tuck this into the drawer that I keep early projects and like my homemade sweaters that my grandmother made me that I don't keep in regular circulation in my wardrobe. All right, this is is a Bon Chance Collections dress. I did a review of this dress back when I first got it like a year ago, but I think I want to do an updated Bon Chance review. Like I want to do a full one like I'm about to do with Lucy and Yak. So this is this one. I do wear it quite a lot. This is the dress that gave me the sunburn. I actually had like little, oh, I guess you can kind of still see it. It's like a little spot here that's just as burned as this, but it's on the white part because there's 
it's like a little bow keyhole detail here. Yeah, this is the dress that ruined my arms for six months so far. All right, this is another dress. This is a unif dress. I have some fluffies on it because this did just get washed. I'm kind of torn about this. I really like this dress. It's really comfortable. Um, The zipper does kind of rub on my neck a little bit and that's not the most comfortable. But the thing that makes me torn on this is that it has a little unif logo right here. And like, if it just didn't have this logo, it would be fine, but I don't know. I'll, I'll think on it. This will be a maybe. This is technically an overdress. I've been using it as an overdress, but I'll count it as just a dress. Uh, this is one of my upcycle projects. You would have seen this in my vintage sleepwear thrift flip that I did a little bit ago. This is definitely a keep garment. This is my Misty Sutton recreation complete with crooked pockets and everything. I wear this more casually. So I think if I just take off these patches, then it'll be more of like an everyday style dress. This is a dress that I thrifted a little bit ago. I wore this on Christmas and just embraced my inner 90 year old. This is this dress. I don't really have a lot to say about it other than I'm keeping it because even though it's not my style, it is an OP. And I feel like if you have a one piece dress, that's an outfit in and of itself. And also this is like a shin length one piece dress. So literally just tights, a pair of dark shoes. This is an outfit. This is a piece that I embroidered. I do like how the pansies came out. I think at some point I probably will go through and add some more details detail to it um, just because they're a little plain but this was my first like embroidery clothing project that I did since high school so I am still pleased with it. This is another significantly shorter uh, Lolita JSK. This is for when I want to do like super old school looks with a short skirt. I am still very pleased with this. I think this is my favorite full dress that I made in 2019. And then also the scalloping. It the, the scalloping was a nightmare and took forever. And I ran out of fabric when I was doing the ruffle. So the ruffle isn't as full as I wanted it to be. But I put a lot of hours of work into this and I feel like it does show. This is my all white Shiro OP. It's got the detachable waist ties that I don't have done up because this is just a try on. And then... I also have these little cross ties. These just go across the neck, but I just wanted like a big tiered Shiro OP that looks like a white tiered cake. All right, friends, that was this video. I hope that this was entertaining. I hope that watching me go through my stuff and declutter it and make those hard decisions about it right then and there has given you some inspiration for decluttering your own wardrobe. I hope everybody has a good day and I will see you all next time. Bye.